All right, thanks, Steve. And after that breaking news happening overnight, officials are investigating a boat crash in the area of Nixon Beach. We know at least 10 people were taken to the hospital. We want to get straight out to the scene this morning. That's where we find NBC 6's Victor Jorge's joining us live. Well, good news for families in need of formula. More baby formula has arrived in the state. I know I can hear the cheers now. This time, that shipment arriving in Columbus, Ohio. A cargo plane touched down carrying 85,000 cans of formula from Australia manufacturer. Now that's enough to make nearly 2 million eight ounce bottles of formula. Those cans will now be distributed to help ease that shortage of baby formula in the region. Well, if you're like me, you tend to browse Zillow in your free time. <laughs> Just, you know, for kicks and giggles at this point, because if you're looking into the housing market in Florida, listen up, 18 South Florida cities alone made the list of top 50 cities in the state with the fastest growing home prices in the past year. Oh, there's a lot of sticker shock there. The website Stacker created a list using data from Zillow. Now, if you're wondering what the number one on the list is, well, it's Jupiter, Florida in the West Palm Beach metro area. That is where values grew more than $2.3 million. Also making top 10 Golden Beach and Fisher Island. Me personally, when I drive by certain areas, I just look them up just to see. Just curious. I don't it's even want to see because I already know <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to like the yeah. prices. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have some good news though, because if you're looking for a break from those high prices, Brightline, they are announcing they are slashing fares. Let the cheers begin. The new base <laughs> fare for Brightline Smart High Speed Program is now 10 bucks, so that's down from 17. The base fare for kids under 12, $5, and it's part of a prom promotion to celebrate this year's National Dump the Pump Day, encouraging people to use public transportation. Brightline says these prices will remain in place throughout the summer break. Lots of time to take advantage of yeah, that. Yeah, could be cool. Yeah. All right, time now is 611 and coming up the 305 is still taking it all in. Did <laughs> you see this moment selected as a host city for the 2026 FIFA World Cup? We'll have reaction from South Florida leaders ahead for this year. Preparations are underway in Wilton Manors for today's Stonewall Pride event. Big crowds are expected and security is top of mind after Pride events in other cities have been targeted and the accidental deadly crash last year canceled the parade. NBC6 reporter Victor Jorge's spent the day in Wilton Manor speaking to some business owners and city officials about what you can expect and experience this weekend. Mm -hmm. And we will both be there. Yes. We're going to take a nap. A long nap. Mm -hmm. It's very early right now. And then now. we'll be ready <laughs> to wave in the parade. Yes. We're going to practice. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The time right now is 6.24. Pride, Juneteenth, so much happening yeah. here in South Florida. We've got the FIFA Cup. I mean, yes. What? <laughs> you guys, it's no better place to be right now. Yeah. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. I'm Heather Walker. And I'm sure they are. I want to turn things over back to First Alert meteorologist Steve Mack. He's back. Steve Mack. AKA. I like Mack that. I like that. Co Grand Marshal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, going to get cray out there. Yeah, it's an exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> Did We're you just down. say it's going to get cray? I might have. Oh. Sometimes, sometimes at this time of the day, I don't think. I just speak. Yeah. I need to think first. <laughs> no, it's great. It's but great. It's exciting. We're counting down, of course, the Wilson Manor, Stonewall yes. Pride. And the big question always this time of year is, will the it weather. stay dry? Yeah. Yeah, look, it's going to be hot. It's going to be humid. All right, thanks, Steve. We want to turn now to that breaking news from overnight. Officials are investigating a boat crash in the area of Nixon Beach. We know now at least 10 people were taken to the hospital. We want to get out live straight to the scene right now. That is where we find NBC 6's Victor Jorge's. He's live. It's scary. A scary situation indeed. An electrical fire forcing residents to evacuate. And that fire knocking out air conditioning, water, and life safety systems. It's a tough situation for the people living there. They were given just hours to abandon their homes. Yeah, and they're going to have to stay away now for at least the next two days. This is all tied to the North Tower of the Hemisphere's condos in Hollandale Beach. Now check out some chopper video we have showing firefighters responding. Hallandale Beach police tell us the North Tower's evacuation was mandatory and residents of nearby buildings were also encouraged to leave. Listen to what neighbors had to say about scrambling for accommodations. I was nervous a little bit. Now I'm better. I'm going to my friend's house to stay for a couple of days. 
Well, city buses were able to take residents to Hallandale Beach Cultural Center. That's where the Red Cross set up to help those without a place to stay. Well, this is a new twist on an old program. The city of Miami Police Department hosting a gun buyback event today. The goal is to support Ukraine and take guns off of our streets. The city says the guns will be shipped to Ukraine as a way to help them fight in the war. Now, if you turn in a firearm, you can receive a $50 gift card. I like that little intro yeah, there. That was really unique. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, Juneteenth is a day that's known as a day that commemorates emancipation, but it is a little more complicated than that. It's a recognition of the date June 19th, 1865, when the last group of enslaved Africans learned they were free two years after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. I know, isn't that wild? The holiday takes place every June 19th, and in Liberty City, the festivities are already in full swing. NBC6's Steve Litz takes us there. <laughs> All right, well, now that we know the weather, let's take a look at what's happening all across South Florida this weekend. Yeah, here's some good news for sushi lovers it's today. International Sushi Day. It's your day. There are plenty of deals that you can take advantage of today. Here's one in Fort Lauderdale. Oceanside Restaurant Dune, which is actually one of my favorites, offering their sushi and poke bowls for half price. Mm. That special runs during lunch hours and prices range from 7 to 14 bucks. Yeah, that's one of the places you told me about when I yes, first moved here. Yes, it's so I great. Got, I really got to check yeah. it out.